Hi, so in the previous video we made this thing, which is a 10k farad capacitor. Now, I actually think that's a bit trivial to make. I think it's quite easy to make and not particularly challenging. That might sound a little smug, but that's what I think of it. So what I want to do really is use some of the processes that we've been going through and stretch myself a little bit. And my next target figure is a 1 megafarad capacitor. And that might seem crazy, but if you can make a 1 megafarad capacitor, you're actually approaching the kind of capacitances you need to run the average home. The average American home takes about 3 megafarads, apparently. So if we can make a 1 megafarad capacitor, we're not that far away from running cars and running houses from it. Now, we could always build one, because we could just build loads of those, but it'd be pretty big. So what we need to do, really, is get that size down even further. So, here are some of my thoughts and early experiments on it. What I did was take one of these to pieces. This is a half farad, 2.7 volt supercapacitor. And if we take that apart, what we get is a little covering for it. And then inside, there are two books like this. They kind of interleave with each other, and that makes the capacitor. Now, there are six little leaves in there. These have got the separator all around them. There are six little leaves in there. And if we open those up, what we get is two pieces of aluminium coated with the active material put back to back to make one of the leaves. So we separate those out. There are, in fact, 12. So we have 12 little leaves in there like that, one centimetre squared, 33 microns thick, and roughly with a capacitance of 40 millifarads. So what we're looking to make is something like that that has a capacitance of multi millifarads. And if we can do that, then we're going to approach being able to make what we've currently made. Now, as I say, I don't think that's trivial. I don't think that's difficult. Um, what we need to do is get that 10 times better than it is. If we can get that 10 times better than it is, then we're going to be able to reduce the size of this thing to the size of this thing. So this will become a 100k farad capacitor. Put 10 of those together and we've got a megafarad capacitor. So that's my target figure. Now the question is, of course, how I'm going to do that. Now what I've done to do that is create this stuff. This liquid is the magic liquid. If you pour that liquid out, then it dries to form this graphene film. And that actual film is actually see-through. That is, in fact, about 4 microns thick. So it's 4 micrometers thick. Now, that stuff is um, actually astounding material. In fact, it's graphene-based, obviously. And if we make up a sample of that, which we've got here, then pulling that apart, I've got a one centimetre square of the material. In fact, two of them separated by a separator paper, and there's an electrolyte on there. And if I put those together and measure the capacitance of that, which is what I've done, then that actually is <laughs> 80 millifarads. That is twice as good as that. Now, bear in mind, that's 33 microns thick, and that's 4 microns thick. And we know that the um, capacitance is from the accessibility of the bulk material. So, if we can increase the thickness of my sample supercapacitor, which, remember, is 80 millifarads, and we make that 33 microns thick, we have to multiply it roughly by about 9. So, it's already twice as good. If we make it the same thickness, then it should be 18 times as good. So we should be able to increase the capacitance of that by a factor of 18. That's a hell of a lot more than a factor of 10. We're nearly approaching a factor of 20. So we should be able to make that as a 20 kilofarad capacitor. That's ours. That would make that a 200 kilofarad capacitor. So five of those is going to be your megafarad capacitor. So that's what I'm actually working on at the moment. Now, obviously, I'm already at twice with this thing. So I need to thicken it up and see what we get. Make six of them and interleave them. And then we're heading towards our one megafarad capacitor. And that's what I'm going to be doing over the next month or so. Now we come to another issue that is brought up all of the time with this sort of thing. And I was thinking about doing a separate video on this, and I probably will to complement this section of this video. Because what invariably happens when you do a video is people write to you asking you how you did it. And you have to realize that this whole channel is about how I did that. If you want to know how to do that, then just review the videos and you'll find how to do it.
Now, there are no real recipes for doing it, and I'm not really going to give you any recipes for doing it, because giving you a recipe is no good whatsoever. You will do that if you have something I call the spirit of investigation. That is, if you want to do it, if you're willing to investigate something and willing to explore something, you can do all of this stuff yourself. It's not that difficult, but you have to put some work in yourself. Giving you recipes won't really do you any good, because if I give you a recipe, either you know what you're doing and you should have found it for yourself anyway, or you don't know what you're doing and it's going to do you no good, because making that liquid actually is quite difficult. If you have no experience in chemistry, you're not going to be able to make it until you gain that experience. If you have experience in chemistry, you should be making stuff like this already. If you want me to give you a recipe, then forget it. Just look through the videos, do some work for yourself, and explore it yourself. Use your spirit of investigation. With your spirit of investigation, you're going to be able to find out all these little secrets all by yourself. And that's the point of the channel. The point of the channel is to get you to experiment. Anyway, we are actually progressing quite nicely to the one mega farad capacitor, and that's what I'm going to be building. But I thought I'd do this video to show you uh, really the beginning stage, because we're already really quite near to doing that by the little early test samples using this little one centimeter square. What I've got to do is build something bigger than this little one centimeter square because that one centimeter square of material is already performing 18 times better than what you can currently buy. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you and thank you very much for watching.